Actress Geraldine Fitzgerald had a significant career in the entertainment industry, starring in many memorable works. She left a lasting impression because of her talent and versatility. What role or quality do you think made her impact last? Share your favorite memories or experiences with this classic actor below. Stay tuned for more interesting facts about Fitzgerald in this video. Born in 1913 in Dublin, Ireland, Geraldine Fitzgerald hailed from a family deeply involved in theater. Her father, Edward Fitzgerald, was a respected lawyer, while her mother, Edith Catherine, acted on stage. With such a background, she naturally gravitated towards acting. Fitzgerald went to drama school in London to refine her skills. In 1934, she made her stage debut at the Gate Theatre in Dublin before moving on to London's West End. Hollywood noticed her talent, and she debuted in the film Dark Victory in 1939. From there, her career in American cinema took off. Throughout her journey, she tackled various roles in both serious and comedic films, earning praise for her emotional depth. One standout performance was in Wuthering Heights, where she played Isabella Linton. Despite challenges like being blacklisted during the McCarthy era, she persisted and continued to thrive. Fitzgerald received acclaim for her work on stage, screen, and television, earning nominations for prestigious awards like the Academy Award and the Tony Award. Her early exposure to the arts and dedication to her craft shaped her into the actress she became, inspiring many in the industry. Her story underscores the importance of talent, hard work, and perseverance in achieving one's dreams. Geraldine Fitzgerald, who hailed from Dublin and began her career at the Gate Theatre, worked with Orson Welles. She's known for her roles in Wuthering Heights and her family ties to actress Tara Fitzgerald and director Michael Lindsay Hogg. In New York City, she received recognition for her efforts in providing theater opportunities for underprivileged youth. In the movie Wuthering Heights, she played Isabella Linton, bringing depth to the character's journey. Throughout her career, she showcased versatility, captivating audiences on stage and screen. Her authentic portrayals earned her praise and admiration. Beyond her performances, Fitzgerald advocated for social causes and used theater as a tool for empowerment. Her influence continues to inspire future generations of performers and activists. In summary, Geraldine Fitzgerald's journey from Dublin to New York City reflects her passion and dedication to her craft. Her lasting impact on the arts world will always be remembered and celebrated. Geraldine Fitzgerald portrayed Marth de Brankovis in Watch on the Rhine alongside Betty Davis. She also shared the screen with Davis in Dark Victory and appeared in Shining Victory where Davis made a cameo. Fitzgerald's connection with Anne Shirley extended to attending a taping of her guest appearance on The Golden Girls. Alongside B. Jonathan Rincamp, she established the Everman Street Theatre, which involved children from diverse backgrounds as street performers. The theatre notably staged all-black productions, reflecting Fitzgerald's liberal approach. Her contributions to the arts, both on screen and off, left a lasting impact. Geraldine Fitzgerald, the actress, had a notable connection with Vivian Lee as they were schoolmates. She formed a lifelong friendship with Irish actress Maureen O'Sullivan. Her upbringing was influenced by her parents, William and Mary Fitzgerald. William, a solicitor, had notable clients like William Butler Yeats and James Joyce. They frequented the family home when she was young. Her first husband, Edward Lindsay Hogg, aimed to be a songwriter. They relocated to New York from England in 1938 for his career. Her second husband, Stuart Scheftel, had a family history tied to the Titanic tragedy. He was a successful businessman involved in projects like co-founding New York's Pan M Building. He developed an admiration for her after watching her in the movie Wilson and sought an introduction through a mutual friend, Martin Gable. Her life intertwined with notable figures and events shaping her journey in the world of acting. Geraldine Fitzgerald, known for her roles in various films, was buried at Woodlawn Cemetery in Bronx, New York, in Chestnut Hill, Section 111, Lot 12E461, The Scheftel Family Plot. Notably, she played Isabella in Wuthering Heights, earning her only Oscar nomination. Surprisingly, she was only 21 years older than Dudley Moore, her on-screen grandson in Arthur and Arthur II on the Rocks. Throughout her impressive career, she took on different characters, captivating audiences with her talent. From her emotional performances in serious movies to her funny timing in lighter ones, Fitzgerald left a lasting impression on the big screen. Her acting continues to connect with viewers, showing her versatility and dedication. Aside from her work in movies, Fitzgerald's impact goes beyond acting. 
She was respected not just for her on-screen work, but also for her charity work and dedication to various causes. Her involvement in the arts and society shows her lasting influence. As fans and admirers look back on her life and career, it's clear that Geraldine Fitzgerald's spirit lives on through the timeless characters she portrayed, inspiring future actors and filmmakers. Her influence remains in the history of movies, a sign of her lasting talent and influence. Geraldine Fitzgerald, mother of director Michael Lindsay Hogg, lived a life filled with the glitz and drama of Hollywood. Her story, with many twists and turns, includes a significant relationship with Orson Welles, a famous figure both on and off the screen, which had a big effect on her family's history. Welles played a crucial role in shaping not just her life, but also that of her son, Michael. Amidst her personal whirlwind, she also made her mark in the film industry. Her talent shown in popular movies such as Wuthering Heights, Dark Victory, and Watch on the Rhine. These roles propelled her into the limelight and earned her a place among Hollywood's elite during its golden era. Alongside her movie successes, she navigated the complexities of relationships, including her marriage to Stuart Scheftel, which resulted in a daughter named Susan Scheftel. Geraldine Fitzgerald's life was painted with success and controversy, each contributing to the story of a woman who defied norms. Her first marriage gave her the title of Lady Lindsay Hogg, linking her to a world of privilege. However, it was her resilience and talent that truly defined her legacy, surpassing titles and societal expectations. As her life's curtain falls, Geraldine Fitzgerald's story remains a testament to love, ambition, and the pursuit of dreams. Through highs and lows, she remained steadfast in her pursuit of excellence, leaving a significant mark on cinematic history. In the film Dark Victory, Geraldine Fitzgerald played Anne King alongside Betty Davis. She also appeared with Davis in Watch on the Rhine. In Shining Victory, she had a brief role alongside Davis. Unfortunately, she couldn't be in the Maltese Falcon due to conflicts with Warner Bros. Studio head Jack L. Warner. He refused to cast her in the role meant for Mary Astor. Fitzgerald gained fame for her performance as Mary Tyrone in the Broadway production of Long Day's Journey Into Night. She starred opposite Robert Ryan in this well-received play, earning praise for her portrayal. Fitzgerald's versatility and talent captivated audiences and critics alike, establishing her as a formidable presence in both film and theater. Her work continues to inspire aspiring actors worldwide. This narrative reflects her lasting influence on the entertainment industry. Geraldine Fitzgerald, a renowned actress, was surprisingly left out of the memorial tribute section during the 78th Annual Academy Awards in 26. This part of the show pays homage to artists who have passed away in the year since the previous ceremony. Despite her nomination for an Academy Award in 1940 and her roles in memorable films, she was not included in the tribute. In the movie Love Spell, also known as Tristan and Isolt, her performance was filmed in 1979, but remained unreleased until later. In Arthur, she played Martha Bach. Interestingly, all the actors who portrayed parents in this film passed away in 2005 Geraldine Fitzgerald, Thomas Barber, Barney Martin, and Stephen Elliott. These instances provide insight into the diverse experiences of her career.